Oh my lord, hello. Take that right in your face. And that one. How about another one? He's dead already. Brilliant. Is that what it takes to down one of those things? Two crossbow bolts. Check this out, mate. Bloody commando here. Reload! Dead? Nope. Dead? Mate. You can't... You can't stop me. Where's my torch? Put my torch on. There we go. You can't stop me. I'm Gordon Bloody Freeman. Gordon Bloody Freeman, mate. Mr. Freeman. Hello! Well, that happened. Beardo Benjo. Hello there, everyone, and welcome to Black Mesa. You know, I find it absolutely crazy that at some point really soon, all of the Half-Life games are going to be fully playable in VR. That's kind of bonkers to me. Half-Life 2 is now fully playable thanks to a fantastic and almost native feeling VR mod. Half-Life Alex, of course, is built for VR. We will at some point be getting Half-Life 2 Episode 1 and 2 made by the same team, I believe, that also made the Half-Life 2 VR mod. And this week, we're getting Half-Life 1 in VR on Steam. Again, as a native free download, you just need to own the original game. That's crazy. Hello? Hi, Mr. Freeman. I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Just That's fine. Days, I guess. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got into your hazard suit. <laughs> okay, this is terrifying. Hello? Hello, mate. You alright? You look a bit stiff. Oh, you look a bit stiff. Now, you could always play Half-Life 1 in VR on the Quest 2 natively. Uh, Dr. Beef did a fantastic port of this game. But this is the first time I believe that it's been available on Steam as a full PC VR product. They've actually added female scientists. Um, and they're voice acted. I don't know how to talk to them. Hello? Please, leave me alone until after the experiment. That's amazing! I can't be bothered right now. Their mouths move better than this guy's terrifying oh mouth. Hey, what stop that. Doing? What did I do? Come on, Gordon. You're trying to what get did I do? Into trouble? Why am I so terrifyingly tall? Like, am I tall or is everyone else just Don't really, really tiny? <laughs> Alright, let's check this out. This is... Hello there. Good morning. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Like little Lego people. Hello there. Weren't you supposed to be in the <laughs> test chamber half an hour ago? <laughs> Look at their mouths! Excuse me, Gordon, but I'm rather busy now. Okay, what about you? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> You'll just have to wait until after the test. Hello, how are we going? You look like a poodle. You've got a poodle haircut. Right, yeah, this is completely and utterly bonkers. I'm so tall. I don't know why I'm this tall. <laughs> feels so crazy. Uh, what's this? Can I have whatever that is? My God, oh no! Doing? I'm sorry. I was trying to make some lunch, but I, I've ruined somebody else's lunch. Give me soda. Give, give, give. There we go. Thank you. Take that. There we go. Um, would you like a drink? Oh, I think I drunk it. I'm, I was meant to throw it at him. G L U. B. Glub? Is this drink called Glub? That sounds disgusting. I, oh, I've drunk it again. I keep trying to throw it at him. Excuse me, Gordon, but I'm rather busy now. You don't look it. You look like you're chilling out in the locker room. <laughs> That's her being very busy right now. I can respect that. I can respect that. Right, what's in my locker? We've got a nice big battery down there. We've got a diploma of some description. A couple of sticky notes. Uh, a book. The 37th Mandala by Mark Laidlaw. Fantastic. And a baby. Didn't know Gordon Freeman had a baby. Can I pick this stuff up? <gasps> I can. Can I pick up the weird baby picture? <clears throat> okay, I can't pick up the baby picture. That would suggest it's probably not my baby. Just a strange picture of a baby that Gordon has. This is running really nicely, but I, I you know, that should be a given. It's like a million year old game. Uh, all right, in we go. Welcome yes! To the HEV Mark IV Fantastic. System. I've done it. I've got my suit on. Everything's good. We've got health and energy here on my left arm. That's pretty cool. We've got some pumping music going, which is, which is bizarre. I don't remember that. Uh, out we get. Okay. Let's go and do the test in the test chamber. 
Uh, hello, lads. Still on lunch? Long lunch break. Hello, G-Man. Hello. It's me. Gordon Freeman. He yeah, hello, it's me. You must remember me. Don't be nasty to her. She's lovely. What are you saying? What are you saying? Can't hear you. Oh, you got the wrong airlock, Mr. Freeman. You know I can't let you through here. I hate it. I hate the way they look. It's terrifying. Sorry, sir. I've got to stay <laughs> at my post. <laughs> Alright, okay. You ugly, ugly man. Sorry, I'm on duty, Mr. Freeman. <laughs> Mutant mouths. I absolutely hate it. Can I use this? Uh, do, I, do I need it? I don't need it. Off we go to the test chamber. We're going to do some tests and it's going to be just fine. Everything's going to be fine. Now, you don't seem to have control of all the fingers. You've just got a grip and an ungrip, so I can't, like, point at people. Which is a real shame, because I love pointing at people in VR. It's one of my favourite things to do, just give a good old point at some weird, creepy-looking VR characters. Especially these strange, bold men that I keep seeing everywhere. Hello. Hello. You'll just have to wait until after the test. Okay, I will. I don't know what I'm waiting for, but I'm happy to wait. Hello, scientists. Can, I, can you let me in, please? Thank you very much. Hello. How are we doing? Ah, Gordon. Here you are. Hello. We just sent yep. the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted okay. the anti-mass spectrometer to 105%. Oh, God! Bit of a gamble, but we need the extra resolution. Feels like my movement is dictated by my left hand, because if I tilt the hand backwards and try and move forward, it doesn't, it doesn't let me. I kind of go backwards. Um, it reverses the polarity of the stick. So if I'm... If my hand's pointing this way and I press forward, I move forward. But if I'm... Hold on, I'll try and show you. So right now, I'm pressing forward, and if I move my hand... See? If I move the hand, it kind of pulls me backwards. So I'm not sure what that's about. I guess it must be, like, controller-based movement or direction. Which is a little strange. It's not, not a favourite of mine. Just been informed that the sample is ready, Gordon. It should be Ooh. coming up to you any moment now. Here it comes, here it comes. Delivery system for your specimen. There we go. There's my trolley. I am the trolley pusher. Oh, oh! Okay, I've just knocked it. Okay, just walk into it, I guess. There we go. Get away from the beam. Okay, alright. Jesus Christ. Where do we go? Over here? Ah! Ceiling! Oh, they're dead. They're dead in there. Brilliant. Oh, it's very green. Oh! oh. This is so good. It's always so cool to see this. And it's even cooler in here. Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, God! Hello! Hi there! Nice doggies. Nice doggies. Oh, green. Oh, hello! How are we doing? We good? I'm Gordon Freeman. Nice. Oh, bye. What a nightmare. Everything went wrong. They said it wouldn't, and it bloody did. Exactly what they said wouldn't happen, happened. Shocking. Okay, uh... Can I use this? No, it's definitely broken. What about this one? Oh! It's okay, it's opening for me anyway. Do you need help? I do know CPR. I can give him mouth to mouth if you want. Actually, I don't want to. He's got big billy bass fish mouth. Oh no! There's death everywhere! Okay, where's my crowbar? Oh, Jesus Christ, no! Oh, his skull! Look at that! Skull's bigger than his actual head was. Whoa! That's cool! Picked up his giant skull! Oh, I've dropped it. Uh, probably for the best. Shouldn't walk around with people's skulls. Hello, she's dead. Eyes open, though. Are you dead, or are you having a little lay down? <laughs> I don't mind either way. I'm not I'm not criticising, but you look very much alive. They are pretty good-looking head crabs for Half-Life 1. That one's freaking out. But this one looks like a Half-Life 2 head crab, almost. Yeah, they look really good. I think this VR mod does have kind of upscale textures and resolutions in some places, along with the new kind of um, lady scientists. Um, retinal scanner? Where's that man? He said he was going to do the retinal scanner with me. Oh, right, come on. Lead the way. Come on, let's go. we got to go. Come on. You're so slow. Do the thing. Don't check on me. Brilliant. Thank you. In we go. Oh, bugger. All right, just crouch under those. Oh, no. That's alright. Just crouch under him. Shit! Oh, the door! Ah! Get in. Bloody hell. Oh, bugger. 
You may have noticed that I'm not wearing my normal over ear headphones for today's video. Well, that's because I've been testing out these brand new Soundcore VR P10 by Anker wireless earbuds for the last few weeks, and I'm absolutely loving them. Typically, I shy away from earbuds because, frankly, I have weird shaped ears, and in ear headphones I've used in the past tend to fall out without much warning. But after two weeks of testing these, I haven't run into that problem at all. The Soundcore VR P10 earbuds are a completely wireless audio solution designed for the Quest 2, and they're officially authorized by Meta to work perfectly with the Quest 2. Much like a set of Apple's AirPods, they also come complete with a charging case to ensure they're always ready to use. The wireless USB dongle that slots into the Quest 2's USB-C port even has a pass-through, so you can continue to charge the headset if you play with one of the many third-party head straps that provide additional battery charges. Now, after testing with a multitude of games, including Beat Saber and Smash Drums, the two things that impress me most about these headphones are the super low latency and the incredibly crisp bassy audio. Even though the headphones are wireless, I'm still able to play Beat Saber on Expert without worrying about the audio falling out of sync. The official line boasts less than 30 millisecond latency when using the official dongle, and I have to say, it definitely feels that way when testing games that need the audio to be aligned with the visual. The sound quality itself is also superb. The default equalizer gives a rich sound with plenty of bass, but if you'd rather prioritize the higher frequencies, you can download the Soundcore Companion app on your phone to amend and tinker with the available equalizers. The P10s also work on two devices at the same time, so you can connect to your Quest 2 using the dongle and then also to a separate Bluetooth device for multitasking. The most logical setup here is to connect to your mobile phone whilst you're in VR. If you get an incoming call whilst blasting your way through hordes of zombies, simply double tap the left earphone and you'll be able to take the call without grabbing your phone or taking off the headset. As a cheeky little added bonus, these also work beautifully with the Pico Neo 4, which is super handy because it solves the issue of the Pico not having a headphone jack. So although they're marketed as made for Meta Quest 2, just know these do also work with Pico Neo 4. With a total playtime of around 18 hours before you'll need to charge the case up again, it's pretty easy to recommend the Soundcore VR P10 earbuds to anyone looking for a premium audio solution that won't tie you down with loads of additional cables. They've even managed to win me over and I really don't like in-ear headphones. It's great to see such a well thought out and high quality VR accessory entering the market. I'll leave a link in the description down below if you want to check them out yourself and thank you to Anchor for sending this pair my way. Oh no, oh Jesus, what was that? Oh, it's a head crab. I don't even have a weapon. Ah! Oh, lasers now. Uh, underneath. As long as that head crab isn't following me, I'm all right. Go, 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 go. Jesus, no, duck. Ah! <laughs> it's a bit much, this. It's a little bit much. No wonder everyone's dead. Okay, there we go. Right. Brilliant. Ah! Oh. I feel safe. As soon as I've got the crowbar, I feel fine. Yes! Oh! They're dead. Oh, hello! I've only got this! Okay, stay there. Gently. Just don't. Don't come for me. Gently, gently, gently. Have that! Have that! Destroyed him. Turned him into, like, maggots. Oh! Another one. Gun. Yes! Oh, good lord! Idiot. I've got a big chunky gun now. <laughs> They've definitely changed the uh, like weapon models and stuff um, from the main game and they're different to the quest version of this as well. Oh, hello. Hello, zombies. How many bullets have I got? 12. That's more than enough. Die, die, die. And you. Oi, oi, oi. Phantom. Oh, you're still alive. Are you? I don't even know. Are you. Can I. Brilliant. Problem solved. <laughs> I'm nothing if not a problem solver. How do you reload? Uh, grip. Double tap. Uh, I have no idea how to reload the guns. Maybe they just reload automatically. That seems wrong. Let's find some zombies to shoot. Oh. Oh. It's not a zombie, but there is a headcrab. Wait, you. Oh, my aim's terrible. How do I reload? Okay, it just reloads automatically. Die! Fiend! Oh! Good lord. There's another one over there. 
Yeah, that's what you get. That's what you get for messing with Freeman. Run, mate! Run! Oh, no, I can't get in! I can't save her! Oh, she's doomed. Oh, real shame. Real shame. But, you know, these things happen. These things happen. Hello? There we go. I don't know why that zombie is, like, having a seizure in front of the TV. Very strange. I always thought that back in the day. Very strange. Stay dead. At some point in time, this game... Oh, would have been terrifying. <laughs> you know, to a certain group of people playing this game for the very first time, I'm sure it would have been absolutely terrifying. It's crazy to see... Hello, mate. Oh. What bit was that? Oh, I don't even know. Oh, oh! I don't even know what bits they are. Oh, there's the rest. There it goes. Okay, he's well and truly dead now. There's some kind of creature up there. Yeah, at some point this would have been a terrifying, kind of a horror-y, sci-fi-ish adventure. Hello, G-Man. Die, you bitch! Oh, Lord. Reload, reload. Okay, I don't know why I can't seem to reload. They just reload on their own. Is it meant to reload on their own? I really don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. Oh, hello. Oh, what's going on? What broke through there? Ah! Well, they're bad. They're bad. They're bad in this one. No, stop. Jeez. They're not friendly in this one. I can't imagine being a player who played Half-Life for the first time with either Half-Life Alex or Half-Life 2 VR, and then you come back to play this. <laughs> I mean, this is super cool, but it's... You've definitely played things in the worst possible order. Uh, anything in here? Hello? This sewer area definitely looks better than it used to. The water's really blue, though. Like, it's clean. Like, it doesn't seem... I mean, is there supposed to be something through there as well? Hello? Alright. Um, yeah, it doesn't look like sewer water. This looks like the cleanest water I've ever seen in my life. It is so fresh. I want to drink this. I want to bathe in this. Like, <laughs> I don't believe that this is dirty, sewery water. Alright. Spin that away. Hello? Oh, no! <laughs> He's dead! Oh, she's dead as... Well, I think she's dead. I think she might be dead. Oh, can I go in there? No, I don't think I can save that guy. I think he's long dead. Right, I've skipped forward a little bit into... Oh, no! Into the campaign. Um, just because I want to... Oh, no, really? Well, how am I supposed to do that? Surely if I run into that, I'm just going to die. No, I didn't die. Oh my god. Oh my... Oh, hello. Bugger off. Ah, bugger off. Reload the shotgun, reload the shotgun, reload the shotgun. I really wish this had manual reloads rather than the weird kind of like uh, nonsense that's going on right now. It's just reloading itself. Explosives. Brilliant, I like that. Hello? Die, you stupid head... Ah! Too many head crabs. Far too many head crabs. Right. Let's shoot that. Go through there. Can't two-hand the guns. That's a real shame. One-handing guns only. Die, you. Where are you going? That's it. Oh. Stay down, demon. I don't like killing them. It always makes me sad. I'll always see them as friendly. Yeah, this version feels a little bit less polished than the Quest 2 version. Um, oh, different gun, different gun, different gun. Oh, let's use that. Yeah, take that. And you. There we go. Um, yeah, something about it just doesn't feel quite as... Oh! Dead? It doesn't feel quite as well put together as the Quest 2 port by uh, Dr. Beef. It's great that it's on Steam and it's a free download. You know, like, anyone who owns the original Half-Life can just download it to Steam. And that's it. You're... You're ready to rock. You're ready to play. Um, oh, I'm firing bullets. I should be firing. Um, but yeah, it just feels like it's still got some... Oh, oh good lord! Jeez! Oh, feels like it's still got some issues to work out, I think. Look at the crossbow. It's a monster! Is it any good, though? Oh, don't go near that man. He looks evil. No! Oh, bloody hell, he was evil. 
he's dead though. Too late. I couldn't save my friend, but uh, I killed him, so that's kind of cool. You bastard! You bastard! Um, I don't really need that. I've got one of those already. Don't you go anywhere! Oh, that's a friend. Oh, let's just kill them now. They're killing themselves anyway, so I may as well be the one to kill them. At least then they die to a friend, you know? They die because of me. Where's he going? Oh, he's being eaten by the barnacle! Don't worry, mate, I'll save you. There you go. Look at that. Don't say I don't do anything for you. Oh, Lord. Hold on. Stay there. Don't move. Lovely. Oh, this is nice. I like this rocket launcher. This is brilliant. Oh, hello. I'll definitely die if I shoot you from there. Hold on. Hold on. Let me just do this. There we go. What a shot. What a beautiful gun. I love that. Right, let's try this thing now. Big, horrible hornet gun monster thing. Oh, hello. Eat that. This thing's actually quite rubbish. Do you like my pet bug? It's pretty cute, but if I throw it out, it will try to kill me. Check this out, look. I throw it out, and it's like, immediately comes for me. I forget what these do. It's been such a long time. Is it gone? Okay, I think it's gone. I think we're safe. Let's throw another one down there. Just throw loads of bugs down the lift. There they go. See you later. <laughs> Bye. Okay, that's all of them. I hope they go and kill some enemies somewhere. Because that would be really funny. Also, was I supposed to be on that elevator? Okay, I seem to have broken the game by skipping forward and jumping into different chapters. I'm now no longer getting any noises for my guns. <laughs> so my guns are silent. I can hear the noise of that creature. Um, but I'm not getting any noises when I fire my weapons. I think I've broken the game. I think I've broken the game and I've broken the mod and I need to just stop. Look, now I've got no noises at all. Oh, this is eerie. Why have I got no noises at all? Okay, small piece of advice. When you come to play Half-Life 1 VR when it launches on Steam, maybe don't use, like, the map skips, like the level skips, because I, I feel like I broke the game by doing so, and I now have no sounds at all. Right, I've reloaded the game, and I now have sounds again. Yippee! Yay for sounds. Right, let's empty this chamber. There we go. Reload the gun. Reload the gun. Right, I'm going to leave it here. This has been Half-Life, the original Half-Life, running in VR on PC, so via Steam. Now, this comes out on the 20th. It's completely free to download, but you do need to own a legitimate copy of the original Half-Life to play this in VR. Now, I will say, I do think the Dr. Beef port on the Quest is the best way to play this in VR. The Dr. Beef Quest port of Half-Life feels a little bit more finished. Um, uh, this still seems to have some glitches and some weirdness in it. That I can't quite figure out. Um, die, you stupid ninjas. Just some really strange things. I lost sound for quite a long period of time. Well, some sounds. I lost kind of like my footsteps, uh, the gun sounds, enemy noises. But I wasn't losing like the ambient music. Really strange. Um, I can't seem to... Oh my lord. Oh, shoot me from the... up there. I can't seem to figure out a way to reload the guns until they're just out of ammo and then it automatically reloads them. Um, oh my god, what's that now? Oh, for God's sake! It's a bloody ninja up there shooting me! Ah, got you, you stupid ninja. Yeah, so I can't seem to find a way to reload the guns um, without kind of emptying them first. And then they reload themselves. Um, bang, just like that. I, I don't really like that. I think that's a little bit odd, especially in VR, like, you want to eliminate as many button presses as possible, and things should feel natural, but I would prefer to press a button to reload than to let the game do it itself, because if you run out of ammo, you're then stuck in a situation where you're waiting for the game to reload, whereas I could shoot down to three bullets and be like, oh, I need to reload and do a manual, but I can't seem to figure out how to manually reload. It just feels a little bit unfinished. Um, and those issues might be eradicated. They might be fixed by the time the release rolls around, but it is only in two days' time. Um, ah! I can go through there. Uh, it is only in two days' time, so I, I'm not uh, entirely sure how much will change. Oh, I blew myself up. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do leave a like, leave a comment, and hit subscribe. And I'll see you very soon for another one. Sorry for all the weird missing audio and stuff. Don't know why that was. The game just decided to not give me audio a lot of the time. Bugger. No ammo. Take care of yourselves. See you next time.